We all love a steam engine. But how about a beam engine with a governor? This is really fun. This 84-piece engineering model from Engineer Shop DIY really is a thing of beauty. Welcome to my workshop in rural France, where I build my own steam engines. Many of them oscillating engines based on the design of Aid Swash and the Wigwag Group. Watch them run. The blue mill engine, the double cylinder oscillating engine, and even an engine with a model of me. This is really fun. I build them on my lathe. A lathe on a mill is vital for scratch-built engines from raw stock. But you can get into this hobby just by using a kit. This intriguing blue box has 84 laser-cut, well-engineered parts for you to build your own steam engine. So let's give it a go. The instructions are clear, mainly pictures for an international audience. Just make sure you get everything the right way around. Orientation is everything. A drop of oil on the bearings and cylinder and inside the piston really helps the build go well. But it didn't go that well. <laughs> My engine looked perfect but failed to run. What had I got wrong? Plenty of steam, plenty of pressure, and it won't run. So I tried a few things. First, removing the governor to see if any friction from that mechanism would help the little engine run. But no. Well, we have pressure. So I came up with an audacious plan to try it on compressed air and it runs, but it's really lumpy. But you can clearly see how the ball governor works. As the speed of the engine increases, the centrifugal force forces the balls out. This closes the steam or air valve, reducing the pressure and governing the speed. It's starting to run much better, but there's still something not 
quite right. But I'm not one to give up. <laughs> so I investigated where the tight spot was, and it turned out that the main crank wasn't on correctly. Just a small tweak with an Allen key, and voila! The little engine runs like a Swiss watch. Here you can see me unscrewing the condensate screw. When you first run a steam engine, it makes hot water, and you want to purge that from the cylinder. Having a drain cock is brilliant, just like a big steam engine. Now here it is in its full beauty. Running under steam under its own power. The flyball governor really works, adjusting the steam pressure and regulating the speed of the engine. So with a whistle, let's sit down and watch this beautiful little engine run. Something that you built with your own hands. Beautifully constructed, easy to build, but a challenge to get just right. There's a link in the description if you would like this engine with a discount code, Professor Simon. <laughs>